chosen ones, those same people that was looking down on you before are now looking up to you today. Can I get an amen? Because listen, beforehand in the past, they looked down on you. But now they look up to see you. They look up at you. They look up to you. But they are too prideful to admit that you are actually inspiring them. They are too prideful to admit that what you're doing has an impact on them some type of way. In a positive way. But they are too prideful to admit that because of how much dirt that they spoke on your name. How much they dogged you. How much they really looked at you as if you were nothing. How much they talked so foul about you. Talking about how you were not going to amount to anything. Talking about how you were going to always be down. You were going to always be hurt. You're going to always be immature. You were going to always be X, Y, and Z. You're going to always be broke. X, Y, and Z. Whatever the case is. <coughs> sorry, y'all. Sorry. But anyway. All of the stuff that they talked about you and how much they looked down on you, how much they were always judging you. It's like they judged your every move. It's like they never could really give you the benefit of the doubt. They judged every single move you made, every single action you took, every single thing you said. They had a way to judge you for it. They felt entitled to judge you. They felt entitled to define you, to try to tell you who you were. And they always, and anytime they tried to look at you, they always tried to make you out to be this horrible person. They really, really looked at you as if you were beneath them. That's why they treated you the way that they did, because they thought that you were beneath them. They thought that, oh, no, you ain't going to do nothing. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't. I could treat you like that because you ain't nothing. You a bum. But look, it's so crazy how the tables have turned. It's so crazy how all of that time that they were spent looking down at you, they could have been developing that same energy into their self. And then they turned their back on you and walked away and left you. Thought they was going to just leave you where you was at. They left you where you was at in all of that pain and all of that dirt and all of that mud that they threw you in. They left you where you was at. So when you, when now that you rising up, when you get ready to leave, you got every right to lead them where they at because they left you where you was at. They left you in your suffering. So now, now that you rising up, I'm just trying to come around. Nah, baby, keep that same energy because you didn't help me when I was drowning. But now that I'm saved, now that I'm this hero, now you want to act like you know me and you cool with me. But baby, I remember you were always the villain in my story. And now they're looking up at you, seeing how much you have accomplished, seeing how much you've matured and how much you've grown. And they are baffled because they have no idea that the person that they thought was beneath them has risen to power. 